इट इज इनविजिबल इट इज अनोन बट इट इज अबंडेंट इन द यूनिवर्स इट इज लार्जर इन मास दैन दैट ऑफ ऑल द गैलेक्सीज टेलर डस्ट एंड गैस कंबाइंड इट डज नॉट इंटरेक्ट विथ विजुअल मैटर इट डजेंट एब्जॉर्व रिफ्लेक्ट और एमिट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन नन ऑफ द टेलीस्कोप्स हैज एवर बीन एबल टू डिटेक्ट इट बट इट्स प्रेजेंस इज अनडिनाइबल साइंटिस्ट हैव ओवरवेलमिंग एविडेंस ऑफ इट इट इज द स्कैफोल्डिंग अपॉन विच द गैलेक्सीज फॉर्म एंड डेवलप विदाउट इट द गैलेक्सीज वुड नॉट हैव फॉर्म्ड एंड इफ सम हाउ दे गॉट फॉर्म्ड दे वुड हैव टॉन देम सेल्व अ पार्ट लॉन्ग अगो वॉट इज इट एम आई टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी सुपर नेचुरल एंटिटी और एलियंस नो एब्सोल्युटली नॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट डार्क मैटर हाई फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज अखिलानंद सिंह इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज डार्क मैटर and why it has not been able to be detected in spite of scientists knowing it for last 90 years to understand dark matter let's quickly revisit the planetary motion of the solar system we all know that the planets in the solar system revolve around the sun while circling in their orbit the planets counter the sun's gravitational pull with their pace if they lessen the pace they will collapse into the sun if they increase their speed they will escape from their orbit planets like mercury venus or earth who are closer to the sun revolve fast because the sun's gravitational pull is more towards them planets like jupiter neptune and uranus move slowly to balance the weaker force of sun's gravity acting upon them do the stars in different galaxies observe the same rule do the outer stars of a galaxy move slower than the inner ones you would be astonished to know that the outer stars in a galaxy do not move slower some of them move faster than even the inner stars as per our understanding of the planetary motion the outer stars of galaxy should have been thrown away scientists have measured the mass of the galactic center of galaxies and have come to the conclusion that it is not enough to hold the outer stars together since they move very fast it is believed that the gravity that is keeping the galaxies intact comes from some yet to be detected matter called dark matter let us see the composition of matter and energy in the universe only 5% of matter is visible matter this little 5% visible matter constitutes all the galaxies cluster of galaxies stellar dust and gas 27% of matter is dark matter the remaining 68% is the dark energy in the universe we will talk about dark energy in some other video this video is about dark matter In this slide there are three pie charts. The first pie chart shows the total matter and total energy in the universe which are 32% and 68% respectively. The second pie chart focuses on the total matter in the universe. Out of all the matter in the universe only 15% is visible, the rest 65% is dark matter. The third pie chart shows the distribution of visible matter. Out of all the visible matter stars galaxies and cluster of galaxies constitute only 20% of it the rest is dust and gas let's talk about three major observational evidences of dark matter they are speed of stars in the galaxies gravitational lensing and bullet cluster we have already gone through the first evidence let's quickly review it the rotational speed of stars in galaxies does not decrease with distance from the galactic center as expected based on the visible matter alone This suggests the presence of additional mass in the galaxy. This additional mass is provided by dark matter. Objects, the bending of light around massive objects when it comes from a distant star is called gravitational lensing because it feels as if there is a lens kept between the telescope and the distant star. The gravity of massive galaxies or cluster of galaxies which contain dark matter has been observed to bend the light coming from more distant galaxies. The third evidence of dark matter is the bullet cluster. The bullet cluster is a cluster formed by the collision between two clusters of galaxies. On the screen you can see the state of bullet cluster after the collision. The pink color indicates the visible matter. The blue color shows the high gravity areas where dark matter is present. The right hand side pink and blue regions belong to the cluster which came from the left. The left hand side pink and blue regions belong to the cluster which came from the right. After the collision the dark matter areas shown in blue moved ahead. because it did not slow down due to the impact the pink regions have normal visible matter the far away galaxies appearing in the blue region have become hazy due to the gravitational lensing this proves the existence of dark matter in the blue regions why it is so hard to detect the dark matter in spite of being five times more massive than the visible matter we'll be talking about three main reasons 
the first challenge in detection is the non-luminous nature of dark matter. Telescopes fail to detect dark matter optically because it does not emit or reflect light. The second challenge in detecting dark matter is its unknown properties. The dark matter properties are not known to the scientists yet. They are hypothetical, hence the particle's mass, size and strength of interaction is unknown. This makes it challenging to design specifically tailored experiments. The third major challenge in detection of dark matter is its weak interacting nature with the ordinary visible matter. Dark matter does not interact with electromagnetic radiation, making it difficult to be detected. Alternate theories Because dark matter has not been detected in lab conditions, many alternate theories have been proposed. All these theories explain the same cosmological phenomena without depending on the dark matter. The alternate theory proponents argue that we should modify our understanding of the laws of gravity. Name of some of the leading alternate theories are Modified Newtonian Dynamics or MOND, Tensor Vector Scalar Gravity and Entropic Gravity. In spite of many alternate theories being proposed, most astrophysicists do not agree with them. World's leading space research organizations are constantly working towards finding dark matter particles. Before closing this video, let's have a look at the history of dark matter research. In a publication in 1930, Swedish astronomer Landmark mentioned that there must be more mass in the universe than we generally observe. In 1932, Jan Oort, who is a radio astronomy pioneer, also hypothesized the existence of dark matter. Fritz Zwicky, while studying the coma cluster in 1933, made a similar inference. Vera Rubin, Kent Ford, and Ken Freeman provided strong evidence of dark matter in 1970 using galaxy rotation curves. Dark matter remains an unresolved cosmological mystery to date. Only time will tell which laws of physics will change and what secrets of universe will unveil when scientists crack this hard nut. With this we come to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful and engaging. Kindly put your comments and consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.